For the first time in two weeks, Jessica's family isn't set up here at the command post in the parking lot across from the gas station. Instead, they're spending time together as a family, and that's exactly what they wanted everyone else to do this Mother's Day. Hug your daughters, your granddaughters, um, your nieces, your nephews, uh, and tell them how much you appreciate them because uh, it could have happened to anybody. Jessica's family has worked day in and day out, passing out flyers, doing whatever they can to bring her home. Sunday, though, they knew it'd be tough. Reality, a little harder to ignore. So instead, they got together at Jessica's grandparents. Give us a little downtime and a chance to um, talk about what we're going to do in the next few weeks. Uh, and also celebrate Jessica in our own way. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. Oh, no. When she was with him, she kind of turned into a little kid herself. Jessica's grandma says she'll never forget the day in the hospital when Zevin was born. She said, you know, grandma, she said, this is the happiest day of my life. She would do anything for that little boy. A little boy now starting to ask questions. The hard part, what do you tell him? Of course, he wants to know where mommy is now um, all the time. Um, she used to sing him a little ditty before he went to sleep at night. And uh, although we still tell him she's working or she's shopping, um, we really feel he's starting to want to know more. At just three, there's no right answer besides having her home, making new memories, just exactly what they should be doing this Mother's Day. Mommy, help. Here, take a drink. There you go. Mommy, take a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Investigators are gearing up for another busy week. The Norton Shores Police Chief says they are also looking to add a Michigan State Police profile team to the investigation. And of course, if you have any information that you think could help, you can call Silent Observer at 231-72-CRIME. In Norton Shores, Deanna Falzone, Fox 17 News.